Let's face it, life isn't easy. If you're stuck in a bad relationship, betrayed or afraid of tomorrow, financially insecure or desperate for a breakthrough, you've come to the right place. Dr. Carmen Hara is a renowned psychologist, intuitive, relationship expert, and best-selling author, and she's here to give you the miracle guidance you need. Her new call show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life, offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions, all for you. Dr. Hara's show aims to eliminate everyday problems, big and small, with topics like healing your relationships, reclaiming your power, achieving better health, dealing with loss, and so much more. Regain the joy, stability, and fulfillment you deserve to feel. Tune in to Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life with host Dr. Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and find the answers you've been looking for. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Miracle Guidance. I'm Dr. Carmen Hara. And tonight we're gonna talk about how to turn your pain into power. The power you have as the co-creator of your destiny. The power you have to overcome anything. That power is within you and it might be buried under the heavy weight of your problems and under your pain. But I know you've already been through a lot of life and you've suffered enough and we all have. But it's like time to regain control over the circumstances and convert your pain into something healing, into something healthy, and into something positive. And you're probably going to ask me, how is that possible? Dr. Hara, I'm suffering so much. I'm lost. I'm depressed. I'm demoralized. I have no more energy. I'm at the end of my rope. I'm hearing this every day. But I tell you, life is full of problems. But, but believe me when I say that none of them is as powerful as you are. You have the potential to overturn any adversity and bring faith back into your favor. But you have to believe in that because you can never go beyond your belief. So if you believe in that, then you access that power, that internal strength and, and, and that resilience. And that's something that you are equip, equipped with. So the secret is to take your suffering no matter how deep and transform it, use it as a transformative force into your creativity, into your productivity, into your resilience. Uh, the question is, how do you do it? Because the process involves some simple actions every single day that will empower you from the inside out because everything in your universe, in your life happens inside and it gets out. So. Reality reflects, like I said many times in my books, reflects what the mind projects. So whatever you are projecting, it's reflected. So little by little, your action will steadily bring you the changes you need and the changes you want. And I'm going to share those actions with you. Um, and one of the things I want you to know is that if you take a deep breath and if you stand still and and observe your pain. And when I say observe, I want you to listen to your pain. I want you to talk to your pain. I want you to understand your pain. I want you to embrace your pain. Uh, in time, if you do all of this, you will be able to remove yourself from your pain, to detach yourself from your pain, to, uh, uh, to eliminate your pain. Um, what I find uh, interesting is that how much in life we are afraid of feeling pain, any kind of pain. Because the very moment something hurts, and it can hurt physically, emotionally, mentally, you want to run away from the pain. We want pain to go away as it starts. We're inventing all kind of pain killers. I think we all agree that um, pain is one of the worst emotions. And I should absolutely say that pain is the worst emotion. Because none of us want to live in pain. But there is a reason behind this extreme emotion. There is a reason. The truth is that pain can be purposeful. It's extreme, but it's powerful. It's the most powerful emotion you feel, and it reaches the depth of your being, and it's the most intense out of your entire range of feelings. It also leads to your incredible ingenuity 
to your incredible creativity. It opens doors to abilities you never knew you had. Because pain is highly transformative. We used to say that through the pain, you create the miracle of life. Like when your mother gives birth to you, she went through pain. The pain created a miracle of life. So it was out of painful circumstances that the most miraculous inventions, discoveries, the most amazing masterpieces were born. Think of Vincent van Gogh who painted, well-known painting, The Starry Night, suffered from depression, a severe depression. He even cut off his ear. But he found art like his uh, refugee and manifested his pain in the most beautiful artwork we celebrate today. Mary Shelley, the author of the novel Frankenstein, released her grief when she lost her, her, I think, prematurely born baby girl on paper, and she created a most widely recognized novels in literature. Now, bound to a wheelchair, the, uh, uh, Stephen Hopkins did not let his disorder slow him down and kill him at an early age and became the most brilliant, famous physicist of our time. I'm just giving you an example of people who went to incredible pain and allowed that inner light to shine through their struggle. So the common thread among, I think, all these people is the key to turn suffering into success. So we have to tap into those hidden powers of our pain and use them to our advantage. So you have to always remember that you can rise above what you don't understand. So understanding uh, requires awareness, introspection, and acceptance. Um, there was a Chinese uh, general who said, uh, Sun Tzu said, to know your enemy, you must become your enemy. And how brilliant is that? Uh, to say something like this is absolutely brilliant. So you grow beyond your pain and you become your pain. You might get to know it first. So pain is not something that just comes and uh, is disturbing your life. It's something that you have to go inside, you know, and feel it and go to the root of it. Uh, this may not be what you want to hear, you know what I mean? But you become the master of your life if you come to terms with your pain. So remember, you become the master of your life if you be come to per terms with your pain. Because this pain is, is something that is similar with living. Uh, this means you have to explore the pain, befriend it, and conquer it. So pain is something you conquer, and you cannot conquer unless you know it. Um, I want to hear what your pain is. I want you to triumph over the pain. And if you have a hard time right now, and if you think, oh my God, I'm so, so much in pain, Dr. Hara, let's talk about it, and let's, let's discuss your pain. And uh, in a minute, I'll be with you, with all my friends who always call me, and I'm here, as you know, uh, to be of assistance, to be of guidance, um, to make you create the miracles uh, of life. And um, I want to let you know that uh, I announced some um, sessions that are in sale. If you want to take a session with me, have a session with me, FaceTime, Skype, on the phone, even in person. Uh, because I'm between two states, Florida, Miami, and New York, you can schedule a session and you take a big um, uh, 25 to 50% off. Email me at C A R M E N A J R A Carmen Harare. Well, if you think you want to talk to me privately, if you think you want to benefit more in depth than uh, talking two, three minutes on, on the radio, and you think you really want me to be your counselor, your therapist, if you want me to be somebody um, guiding you in the right direction, when you feel you need to access all your power, you need to see uh, beyond your pain, you need to see beyond your limitation, uh, we can talk. So feel free to send me an email at crmenagrakarmenhara at AOL. I'm the only one I think I still have AOL. <laughs> After all these years, I have it, I think, for 25 years. They have the same phone number. I can't believe it. Since, for, since cellular exists, I still have the same number. 
917-771-6735. I think everybody knows my number. But anyhow, if you need me, send me a text and we can talk. We can set up a time together. It's important to have, you know, we spend so much in uh, going to the gym, exercising the muscle, which is extremely important, you know. We spend so much time in, 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 in food, in it. we don't spend time for our thinking, for our brain, for, our, for the way we function mentally, emotionally. We don't spend time for our emotions. Um, and it's kind of sad, or if we do, we go to psychiatrists who are gonna put us on, on Prozac or any kind of a Zen Zen medication. So we knocked out and we don't even think anymore. So uh, we can connect if you want, go to carmenharam.com and click on the fan page on, on Facebook. Uh, I do all the time live um, on Facebook, uh, live on Instagram. So you can find me on Instagram at Carmen Hara, on Facebook at Carmen Hara. And subscribe to my new YouTube channel. Hey, I want to let you know something I'm so proud of. And I hope you're going to listen because it's, it's actually free. I released a new CD. It just came out every ma- on every musical platform you can find it. You put my name on Apple Music, Carmen Hara. You put my name on Spotty, on all the musical platforms that exist out there on YouTube. And you find me with my uh, new album that has 11 new songs. As you know, I've been a singer in my youth and I continue to sing all my life. So I uh, produce this music. I participate in, in creating it, and um, uh, and I'm so proud. I work with um, two young people, and we did it together. Uh, I wrote some of the lyrics, and um, I hope you like it. And uh, please let me know if you had a chance to listen, and if anybody wants to listen it for free, <clears throat> just send me a text, and I'll forward you the whole album. But at Apple Music, if you go and put Carmen Hara, all they want, they want you to subscribe three months free to Apple Music and you can subscribe, listen to the music and then cancel the subscription. You don't have to pay actually for anything for three months. So three months is free and after two months you can cancel it before paying a dime. But but anyhow, you can listen to my song. I would love to hear your opinion about my songs. My songs reflect my emotional state of mind and reflect what I feel inside. Music, it's a it's a healing force. That's why I continue to do music, and I believe that we should all create, become creative. And we are not all singers, but uh, listening to music, it's such a healing force. Probably the most important healing force. And we talk about uh, healing from pain. There are statistics proving that if a dying person listens to a specific sound, they, they live longer. Uh, there are people he- being healed naturally by the by a certain specific sound so it's pretty miraculous what music actually can do for us so as i said let's connect and if any of you listening you know you would love to talk to me do me a favor and call in uh, uh, 202-570-7057 i have my amazing christopher waiting for your calls and um, you know he's my favorite uh, producer and i I just uh, um, appreciate him a lot. And you guys listening, Bianca, Perry, Dominga, Lelani, uh, always my faithful friends. Um, I'm so grateful to talk to you today. So so think of you, all of you calling in and everybody else wanting to call in 202-570-7057 to talk about your pain. No matter the kind of a pain that you experience, there's a way to turn action uh, into power, so, so to turn that pain into power. Because I, I do believe that in life you have to reflect on an obstacle you're facing right now. No matter the type of the obstacle, let's say the obstacle is you don't have a job, the obstacle is you don't have um, a partner, the obstacle is uh, you don't feel well, uh, you feel um, you know your health is uh, declining. So different types of obstacles that you're going through, there are practical pieces of guidance that I can show you how to turn this obstacle, the suffering uh, and the um, uh, pain that exists within you into that magical healing force. 
And when I said feeling first, I should say that everything starts when you're talking about pain with healing the pain. Like, and the, and the pain is within you. So what you actually do, you will heal yourself. And I think you heal yourself by nourishing yourself, uh, regaining that inner strength, developing uh, your health, as I said, the developing strong relationship. The, the self-healing uh, transcends Best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Connect at ohmtimes.com. Ohm Times, creating a more conscious lifestyle. Looking for inspiration? Want to be inspired? Not sure where to go. Find Mark and Kim every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Inspired Living. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience in all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. You are, you are the, the inspired, inspired and, and the inspiration. inspiration. Melissa from Michigan. I work an extra part-time job serving lunch at my child's school, but I still can't afford to put food on our table. Daniel from California. Choosing whether to pay the rent or pay to fix the car to get to work doesn't leave us with much at all. Now we can't even pay for meals. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. I think I am um, <laughs> talking about interesting things that interfere. I was talking about pain. I think the computer decided to sabotage me a little bit. <laughs> I hope everything is okay. I hope this is working right now. So I was talking about how you need to heal yourself, how you need to detach, how you need to sometimes stay still and reflect. So when you're in pain, it's not the best idea to it's not the best idea to extend your effort. It's the best idea is to kind of step back and reflect. Because oftentimes we push all the wrong doors and grow impatient when we don't know what to do immediately. So the universe will give you what you want but not when you want it. So Living outside of time disempowers you. And I think I made a pretty big statement. The wise choice is to stop trying temporarily and re-examine what it is that you need to achieve, to build. And when you just can't seem to break through, then you need to introspect. And you have to ask yourself many times when something is happening, ask yourself, why is this happening to me right now? What might be the bigger reason? There's always a bigger reason. And remember, timing is everything and everything in time. This is such a huge statement. I made this statement many times in my books, in my seminars, on my radio shows. So remember, timing is everything and everything is in time. 
So you have to do things that bring you power. Each of us is inherently powerful. We, we inherit the power. And every individual possess those unique powers, unique powers to him. But many of us haven't yet figured it out how to use that power. Uh, and many of us might feel unworthy at time, uh, un unable to surpass uh, barriers, uh, like feeling um, that you don't recognize your inherited powers. And uh, if you are, for instance, uh, entrepreneur, creator, designer, philosopher, a matchmaker, whatever you are, you know there are moments when you feel like, like uh, you lost, you don't know where, how to dive into your own power. So then you need to practice endurance because you, you have this remarkable quality that is called resilience. We human beings are resilient creatures, incredibly enduring beings. Oh my God, we endure so much, able to withstand so much more than we can imagine. And we rely on this wisdom. And then we can gather our true strength in the toughest trial. Even if we suffer a major crisis, endurance sees us through the storm. So remind yourself that you're stronger than any misfortune. I want you to learn this from me tonight, that you're stronger than any misfortune, that you're able to overcome. That the most important thing is your challenges are purposeful and not accidental. And they are given not to knock you down, but to rebuild you stronger than you've ever been. So this is my, my point. This is my philosophy behind translating your suffering into power, translating your suffering into the miracle of life. I'm going to go and see who's with me, still with me, uh, and who's, uh, who's um, waiting to talk to me. All, always my wonderful friends uh, uh, all the time who... Uh, uh, you know, are calling me, so <laughs> I was like uh, 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 laughing because my producer says, Mercury is in retrograde, yes, <laughs> that's true, it's in retrograde and sometimes things can happen. I'm going to go to um, to Patty in New York. Hi, my lovely Patty, how are you, my dear? Hi, Car uh, Carmen, how are you? How's everything? Hi, beautiful. So we're talking, Patty, tonight about pain. So. Let, describe me if you feel any pain. Describe me if there is any and how you feel it and how you handle it this in your life right question. now. Sorry? This is a, okay. Um, this is a wrong time to call because it's like a call for something else. And then when you talk about the, the pain, I don't know. You can, um, you can call about anything. Listen, Patty, okay. you're here to ask anything you want to ask. I have different okay. topics, and when I embrace a topic, I usually ask people if they resonate. But if you have something else to talk about, feel free to tell me what's, what matters for you. Okay. So I'm going to be trying to be as quick as I can because I know you have other people online. Um, I told you that you know that I'm writing a book, Why I Believe a Retired Baseball Player is My Soulmate in My Past Life. Right, right. Okay. So I named him Pasquale in my book, and I named him Val and his mother in my book is called Valentina. And um, Pasquale's father, real name is John, and I call him Giovanni in my book because I'm Italian. Okay, I love Italian. that. I love that. Yeah, okay. very Italian. Okay. Yes. Okay. And actually, my middle name, because my mother, when she immigrated from Italy, was born a year later, she didn't know how to rewrite, speak in English, and. Patty, right. the way you spell in this country is not the way they spell in Italy. They spell it with Z True. in Italy. Yes. Right. Okay. And my middle name is Giovanna, which is the girl version of Giovanna. Do you speak Giovanni. Italian, Patty? Only if I'm forced to. Oh. It was my. Yeah, io io yeah. hablo l'italiano. Si, si, uh, mi parla l'italiano, lo uh, io ti puoi parlare anche l'italiano se tu vuoi. Um, io posso parlare italiano, ma devo forzare a parlare. Okay, I can. Okay. Right. I was just so, kidding. I mean, I love this language. I learned this language when I was young, and I really love speaking it from time to time. So, so tell me. So continue, continue what you were saying. Okay. So I, it was set up, and my cousin didn't know last year in 2018 that she, when she got married, they picked a date for Pasquale's birthday, which at okay. that time they didn't know. Because okay. like, I'm going to say this quick, I, this quickly. 
um, her husband is a tax account is an accountant who has his own business with three his friends, and that the only time that he was able to take because it was three dates at the place where he did um, where they did the reception it was three dates available, and the first two he couldn't take because September October is the is when the businesses a file extension back in April and they have to file the tax right right. So, right. So my so they couldn't take vacate they couldn't take they couldn't do their wedding until the third day which happened to fall on Pasquale's birthday. So right. the whole thing with the bouquet was set up at the court and I wear I wear a jersey a, well I wore a dress and for the bouquet toss I wore a hat a baseball hat a jersey that Pasquale wore when he played for the two baseball teams and then his mom okay get this so the whole thing was set up that I was the only one catching it. It was since May that I realized that I the first time she's the fifth bouquet. The first time I caught the bouquet was at my cousin's cousin's wedding, and it fell on Valentina's birthday. I didn't oh, remember wow. until right. I in 1985 because that's how long ago. I remember. I keep saying, oh "My God!" It dawned on me the day before Mother's Day this year. I caught the wow. bouquet on Valentina's birthday. Okay. So my question is now, and I had to add it to the book, right? But it was meant to be, okay? So Boy. my question is, um, when my cousin got married, uh, another cousin got married in 2009, during the bouquet toast, there was a guy who was the father of my cousin's friend. He does not okay. look like my father. So when they took, or somebody took the picture of the bouquet toast, the way the guy turned his head, and the way he put his hands up, because he was pretending to catch it, it looked just like my father, to the point that it scared my mother's tenant, my mother's tenant's daughter. My mother started to cry when she saw that picture, because it looked just like my father, but in real life, he doesn't look like my father. He's now deceased. So, um, okay. and my father's deceased too. So now, whatever happened in 2009 is happening now, it happened now in, in 2018. My question is, um, I didn't see the video yet of the wedding because my cousin's going to give me the wedding, and he already knows the question I'm, uh, that I'm going to ask you. Um, do you see Valentina someplace in the video? Will her, will she appear someplace in the video? Because the guy who caught the garter has the name of Giovanni who caught the garter. Okay, I thought, okay. They had, you know, somebody had to be from his family in my wedding somehow. Do you see Valentina someplace in the video? Will she appear someplace in the video. Yeah. Absolutely. Can you tell me where that I look at when I get the video? Because my my cousin knows this, you know, she, they already know because I just spoke to them on Sunday. They said they're going to look out because they have a picture. I, I send them a picture of Pasquale's parents. They, right. they already know. Right. Can you tell me where she's going to show up and will she be seen very clearly like like, like the guy who looked like my father. I don't know exactly where in the video. I say, I don't think it's at the very beginning. All right. But will I see her clearly? Like you know, it's her. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see the video now. Right. Yeah. Will she be, do you do you know if she'll be around me? When I catch the when I'm during the bouquet tour, so will she not be part of the bouquet? You know. Uh, that I don't know. Okay. And I don't get because, it very clear. Right, okay. but it's like okay, I well, we want to put it because I thought it was a great idea that if she does appear, that this will because my cousin's preparing for uh, the groom is preparing to like as soon as he gets the video, he wants to put the bouquet to us on on YouTube. So hopefully right. if we can, right. And he will say, and and if he, she does appear, she will. he will say on the video that the mother appears on the video. And we want to get it as much publicity, you know, we try to get it viral. And I think it would be wonderful if she appears and then he, then Pasquale could see it and then, you know. I think it will be. Okay. I, be, I see that that will I feel that the answer is yes and just look for it and uh, you will be very pleased all right and you think Pasquale will see it yeah because actually I swear to God ten, 11 years ago I actually had a dream that I saw a mean Pasquale 
standing in front of a table, and on the table was a picture of Valentina. Right, and Very interesting. when she, yeah, right, and when he saw the his mother's face, he went mm -hmm. oh, like like right like it, like he saw a ghost. Right, and I thought, I can understand okay, that reaction. Yeah, All right, my love. All right, so hopefully I will look. I won't know. Maybe in another month I will see the video. Right, absolutely. Let me know. All right, I okay, will. Okay, my have my a great Patty. love you, sweetie. Thank bye you bye. so much for calling me. Bye, my love. I'm going to go to Tatiana in California. Hi, my dear Tatiana. Yes, hi, Dr. Hara. How are you doing? So excited yes. to talk to you. <laughs> Likewise. Um, Dr. Hara, I have a question because yes. um, you sure. talk. Unfortunately, I couldn't join um, the call last, uh, last week. And you were talking okay. about karmic relationships. And, um, yes. and my question is that I have um, a sister, she's two um, years older than I am, and we love each other very much, but at the same time, we're so different and, and we have fights um, at times because we see things differently. So I wanted to ask you if you believe that this is a karmic relationship and and you know in like different events are repeating themselves and I don't know how to handle them. Uh, because they repeat again and again and again. So um, at this point, I think that I'm the one who needs to do something um, because, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's not resolving. So can you give well, me some guidance the on first that? Thing, the first thing that I want to explain to you is that the concept of karma means repetition. So what mm -hmm. karma does is repeating the same thing and usually mm -hmm. something that is karma is something karma is something very intense it's very mm -hmm. powerful it's very overwhelming it's very emotional and that's exactly what you you experiencing with her a very yes. emotional almost like uncontrolled situation that keeps on repeating and you need to find answers you need to find a way of healing it of resolving it do you agree with me hundred percent right so yes. is this a karmic relationship is what is called family karma so any any time mm -hmm. people come together in the same family they already have a karma but it's called family karma it's something that mm -hmm. you share karmically and, and it's something that tends to repeat and you have to pay attention to the the, the manifestation of the karmic element so the manifestation of where the root of the problem might be between you two guys, you know, mm -hmm. so that you can go to the root of the problem and try to resolve it and try to sort of uh, heal it and try to fix it. Does it make sense? Um, yes, but I try, it, you know, to fix it, and that's why I'm in the situation right now. She's not speaking to me because I try to fix it. If she's not it, speaking I... to you and if she's not responding positively, that's her karmic response. If you try, okay. that's your positive karma towards her, but there's nothing else you can do because the way you do things is your karma. The way someone else responds is theirs. And the way you respond to her non responsing situation adds to your own karmic implication and is not advisable for you to involve even more in the relationship with her if you see a sort of a negativity by not willing to to respond, by not willing to engage, by not willing to participate, by not willing to heal the relationship between you two and get the most of it and make it better. So her silence and her removing herself, that speaks volume of what she thinks of you and of the relationship in itself. Do you agree? Yes, and you know, and the thing is that, and, and and this is something that I wanted to consult with you because I I try, you know, and it always repeats. So she gets up mad at me for something, and then she comes right. back and she's all like nothing happened, and then you know right. the, the situation repeats itself. So I'm because right. I'm vocal and I say things the way I see them, um, and then she gets right. again You're mad at me. You want to fix things. You talk yes. because talking will will bring the truth to the surface, and talking is helpful in in circumstances like this. But exactly. she she is harboring her her negative feelings 
inside herself without wanting to express them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know but what I mean? Know. So here is the here is the difference mm -hmm. between the way you embrace this situation in opposite ways. The way mm -hmm. you embrace it versus the way she's embracing it. Does it make sense? Yes, but you know, Dr. Hart, I wanted to know if maybe I am um, also have to change something because right now I feel, you know, I, I'm really angry. I don't want to be the initiator and say, you know, if I did something don't. to you, please forgive me. I don't uh, want you, know, you to initiate it, anything. If you okay. ask for forgiveness or whatever, if you try to put a, a good resolution on your part and you see no response, detach. It's exactly what I've been talking at the beginning of the show, how significant it is to detach from the pain because this becomes mm -hmm. painful. It is you start suffering. Yeah. And uh, no, yes. pain is not good. And pain is something that you need to heal within yourself. So yes. I want you to remove yourself from this and that's my opinion you know absolutely yeah, so remove yourself because, yeah yeah because i thought okay even if i haven't done anything wrong i think and also that's my from my perspective i haven't done anything wrong. right right, uh, right. even if i haven't done anything wrong should i say uh, you know that, that that's my dilemma should i say i'm sorry i forgive you and forgive me you know, I let you free and let me free because I feel like we, we because we love each other. I feel right. like, you know, and I cannot detach in that way from my sister. I want to detach emotionally and I hope this won't affect um, me. But it's... Um, if you it's continue very... to, uh, to get hurt by this, then it will affect you. If you mm -hmm. say, um, I did my part... And I'm going to wait for her to respond. And I'm going to give her the time to respond. If she responds in three months, fine. She might respond in eight months or in a year and a half. I, let, mm -hmm. I give her all the time to sit, meditate, and give the positive response whenever she can. But meanwhile, I'm removing myself from the pain. Yeah. I detach mm -hmm. myself from the pain and I work on my own self, you know. Uh, yeah, to, but to, not to allow myself to suffer. You don't need suffering. You don't no, deserve and, to suffer. So yeah, that's why and, removing and detaching is actually the right thing to do in a case like this. Okay, and and from uh, uh, you know a psychic pr perspective, why why is that, Doctor Hara? What what do you see? Her that is she being jealous? Is she being angry at me for something? She has a or? completely do different understanding of everything. So if you listen mm -hmm. to her, she has a totally different perspective. She might be judgmental of you. She may be critical of the situation. She has a different way of looking at life. She's a completely different human being than you, even if she's blood related to you. Mm -hmm. You know, she's so yeah. opposite than you. She's she vibrate she thinks at a, at, in a different perception her reality mm -hmm. is so different than yours so consequently yes. you know you you're not in tune in seeing things in the same way so there comes mm -hmm. the arguments there's come the discord the the, the, the disconnect somewhere there is a mm -hmm. disconnect yes. without a doubt between you two you know yes yes you know i don't feel uh, at times like you know loved from her right. the way I love her I don't I don't feel that I feel that disconnect and you know she does I feel like she doesn't love me the same way that right. I, I love agree. her I agree that that mm. uh, her emotions are different than yours absolutely yeah mm -hmm. so um uh, but you know because she's taking care of my parents you know it comes something um, you know extra that, that I have to that complicates things a lot that complicates, that complicates a lot. everything a lot yeah Yes, because I would have detached from her really easily if she would, wouldn't be taking care of my parents. Yeah, well, she, and, uh, she, that's whole, the, the whole family karma is there, you know. That yeah, makes it so, so difficult to deal with. But I Because really that, that is also, she's the connection indirectly to your parents. So if you go to your parents, she's there, you know. Yeah, yeah. So she's there, and my parents are. My my dad is ninety nine already, and and oh, you know, and my mom. Gracious. God bless you. I know, God bless you. I know. I know. God and he's not doing so very amazing. well. So yeah, he's not doing very wow. well. But incredible um, at ninety nine. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. What an age. Yeah. yeah. 
So I and, hope and he reaches a you know, hundred. If, he, if Daddy reach a hundred, you need to call so we can celebrate. <laughs> no, he's not doing that well. I don't know if he's gonna no. reach hundred. No, I, no, I hope. Don't think when so. is he born? And my sister or my father? Your father. My, oh, my father was born in October um, 1920. So. 1920. Yes, he will have to yes, live till October. Gonna, yes. October of the next uh, year to, to live 100. To 20. 2020, yes. 2020 yes. So, and to give, live 100. Oh, yes, I wish he, I pray for him to reach 100. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, he's not doing that well. So, you know, it's... Right. Of course. At this age, you to, never to, know. It's a miracle that yeah. he made it that long, you know. And he was really doing well. But anyhow, but, right, it, right. you know, with my sister, it's been, again, very, very difficult. But i probably call you for a consultation and... Private doctor Call me any, any time. I do. My, my insight is that this is gonna get resolved. I do see okay. this getting resolved for you. Yes. Yeah, but I don't want to. I, I, I don't want to see that it, this this it, karmic uh, mm -hmm. uh, connection being oh. resolved for good. Okay, because I, I cannot yeah. take it anymore. It's always it's cyclical. No. You know, it gets resolved. But let, let it, it come. Back. Let it come from her. It will come from her. Okay, we'll so I won't do her. anything yeah. then. Okay. No. All right, no, no. 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 All right. Okay, my love. Thank I you love very you. much. Me too. Okay, thank my you for your... <laughs> Thanks. Okay, thank bye you bye. so much for calling me. I'm gonna go to Bianca mm -hmm. in Texas. Hi, my lovely Bianca. Hi, Carmen. How are you? I'm okay. You? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm okay. I'm so, uh, do you resonate with my topic? Do you have a specific question that ties into my topic? Um, not really, because I think. Um, okay. The pain that I carry is losing my brother, but um, I think I'm like coming to um, to cope with it. Okay. Well, as long as you can cope, then everything is fine. Yes, yeah. I mean, um, I know he's As he's long as you can cope. It's very important to cope, yes. Yes, I know he's no longer yeah, in pain. For, That's very, what I gotta um, right. remind myself when I start missing him. Right. But um, I do have a question because um, uh, I'm in the middle of a, um, not crossroads, I would say. Um, the, I was uh, um, doing direct sales in the company that... Um, Okay. I had really I had faith in it, and then um, they changed their um, their model, the way that we get paid. So right. There are two other companies that I'm looking into. I just my heart is not in there yet. There's one that I'm more interested in. The other one is just that I can't I can't really decide which way to go. I would go if I were you with the one you're more interested in. Uh, okay. because you have more interest and there's more excitement about it, if you agree with me. But yeah. uh, I intuitively, I feel you can't go wrong either way. Okay. So I don't think that if, let's say, you're going to decide not to go uh, uh, with that one and go with the other one, that would be good too. Okay. So you can be okay either way. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Because um, um, I have friends that have, that have gone the other way and they're trying to, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like bring me along. But I'm um, right. still kind of like, um, I don't want to just jump into something that just because everybody else is doing it. And then, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. It's just. I know exactly what where you want to go with this question. I understand. Yeah, it's just. My but don't, just, that. just um, in your case, I think the answer will come to you. Okay. Don't try not to necessarily force this. Let, let it come to you. Do I make sense? Yes. Let it be. Let it be presented to you. Sit on this a little bit and and ask yourself. I need to see what's best for me and let that be presented to me. Because I really believe that when you work with the universe, you know, you try to co-create your destiny, the universe is showing you ways, you know? Yes. 
which way to go, how to go, how to go about it. And I really believe that that's going to happen, you know. So you will know which one, and you can go wrong either way. So I'm pleased with the fact that you will be perfectly fine and very excited about the outcome at the end of the day. That's good. Because of so that, that's because all that matters. Yes. Because another another question is because uh, because of the direct sales company that was uh, I was making profit out of uh, is no longer happening. Uh, right. To this other <laughs> job interview, uh, <laughs> just like a one like one once a month uh, kind of like uh, thing. Right. And um, you know, I just want to make sure that this is the right way too. Because I mean, I don't know. I'm, it's just everything is so uncertain. No, everything is going to be right and everything is going to be perfect. And uh, uh, you will get out of this uncertainty state of mind. And in a very short period of time, you'll feel very confident that you're on the right track. And you'll be very confident that you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. And this is really working for you exactly the way it's meant to work. Okay. So no, no worries whatsoever. All I know is it's going to work very well, and let it be either way, because either way it's going to work. And you okay. will feel so confident. You will regain the sense of self-esteem, confidence, and the sense of balance and stability that you need to have. Right. And that's what I like, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. That was good. I love you, my sweetheart. I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my beautiful. I'm going to go to Julia in New York. Hi, my Julia. How are you, my dear? Hi, Carmen. I'm good. How are you? Good. Good to uh, hear my your voice, pain my... is... Okay. Um, sorry, I don't know. Really, I'm shy. I'm being on the radio. But my pain is that I lost uh, three different apartments within a short oh. period of time in the same zip code. So I want to know oh. how to, what do you see about that? Or why is that happening? And when I'm going to be able to keep one home? Well, you'll be able to keep a home in, in, in August. I think in a matter of two, three weeks, you'll be able to turn this around. Um, I do believe that you lost those. They will probably... There's no mistake into it. Don't see it as a loss. Just say, okay, they gone, they gone. I'm not going to dwell into it. I'm not going to be worried about it. I'm not going to be upset. I'm going to turn uh, from them. I'm going to let them go, you know, and I'm going to look into a different direction. And I feel like you will get a different place, probably in a different area. Overall, way better, uh, way more um, uh, better organized as a place in itself better floor plan, better structure. Uh, so I, you will say, well, I guess, you know, everything that happened probably had a reason, so I have nothing to regret. This is a way better place for me. This is how I see it. And I keep on seeing somebody helping you. is a woman whose first or last name starts with a C, Celine, uh, um, um, something with C that keeps on coming to my mind is a short hair blonde short hair somebody's helping you here uh, you have a like a divine intervention you know sometimes you think when people interfere in our life and they bring us something good we think they are divinely uh, helping us so um, I really I really love the way this person is gonna come into your life you know So you Thank do get you. the help, you do get the plan, you do get everything you want. So I'm not worried at all, my love. Let me know, call the show and let me know what happens with you in the next two, three weeks. Let's keep I in will. touch. Let, okay? Okay, my Thank lovely you, Julia. Carmen. I love you, sweetheart. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, beautiful. Bye, my love. I'm going to go to Domingas. I haven't been talking to you, Domingas, in a long time. Hi, my love. How are you, sweetie? Bye. I know, I miss you. I'm doing great, better, getting better. Better. How's the pain level? Where do we stand with the pain? Because I, I know you ten. had so much pain. What, at, at 10? Yeah, I think it's 10. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm, I'm trying to be confident and positive. You know, you, you uh, embrace it. You love it. You love it. And then it can't hurt you anymore, you know, it kind of the fades away, you feel like how you remove yourself from the pain, how you walk away from the pain. 
what is the what is the time frame for le, to let go of a grief, uh, separation, divorce? Uh, it it usually take takes years? a number of two, three years. How long has it been? Two years. Yeah, you're on you're on a frame time of being able to remove yourself. So you you right stepping into disconnecting from the pain and disconnecting from whatever happened and not caring anymore and not wanting to look back and putting all the energy into you into looking better into looking more dynamic much healthier than before and one day when you look back to your look uh, uh three four years after uh, everything and going back three years ago you will see the difference in your look in the texture of the skin in in your overall energy level and you will be 10 times better you know okay. there is a there has been a quote the other day on internet that says women look 10 years younger after a divorce <laughs> okay so it's laughing. a matter of time then it's a matter of time but you're on the right time is in your favor now in other words you know time okay. is there helping you yeah so, okay, thank you. I'm glad I love to you, my that. Domingas. I love you. I'm going to go to Bianca in Texas. How are you? Oh, she's oh you okay. dropped. Hi, Lelani. Are you still there? She also. Oh, you dropped. So, it's me okay. and Domingas. So, Domingas, I love you, my angel. So, thank you so much for calling me because I'm so grateful that. We spoke a little bit about your pain because one of the major elements of suffering comes from separation. So people suffer so much when they go through pain and separation. And you've been one of the people who share with me uh, what you've been going through. And I'm, I'm grateful for that because this is the way, you know, we build awareness, we make people understand that they're not alone. And what happens to one person can happen to a lot of other people. But the way we respond to what happens to us may be different from one individual to another. And it's very important, as I said, to respond in the most positive of life, uh, way to life. Uh, and to, uh, to remain grateful, grateful uh, in a sense of controlling yourself. Uh, despite your hardship, acknowledge that there is a person, acknowledge that you become actually bigger than your problem. It, eventually when life uh, becomes difficult, you have to become more thankful. And you're gonna say to me, why is that? You must em embrace the, the, the bad, just like you embrace the good. And you can't be thankful for life only for making it easy. You also be have to be thankful for accepting the task that the life is putting you and accept it with grace. So showing grateful even in the worst of time is the mark of a noble character. So uh, that was the show for tonight, you know, and I'm so grateful that you listened to me. In spite of the Mercury being retrograde, I want you to continue to invest in yourself. I want you not to take things too seriously. We have to listen, you know, to, to things in life and, and you know what I mean? Take things uh, more light and uh, um, not allow all the stress to contribute to our well-being. Uh, so perform everything I was t uh, telling you before in order to regain your power after a painful situation or sometimes a painful ordeal that can happen in life. So thank you for listening to tonight's episode of Miracle Guidance. So if you enjoy, show me questions, comments, um, schedule a session with me, call me, email me at Carmen Hara at well. And I'm Carmen Hara. Hope to see you next week, the same place, same time. Uh, and become your most powerful self. I'm Carmen Hara on Home Time Radio.